Dr. Rob, do you treat your own family members? I have treated every one of my family members. Oh. Uh, from my from my father, from my mother, from my mother-in-law, to my father-in-law, to all of my kids, all of my nephews, all my entire family. I've done all my wisdom teeth for my for my kids and my nephews, uh, implants on my folks. Uh, so yeah, I, I treat my, my family members. And people say, um, there's a couple things surrounding this concept that I, I, I like to talk about. And the number one thing is it, that is that someone will say uh, to you, if, uh, if you are doing wisdom teeth and when it's time to do your family, you refer to an oral surgeon, then you shouldn't be doing wisdom teeth. So pe- people will say that. And what they're saying is, if, if you aren't giving the same level of care to all of your patients that you would to your family, then you shouldn't be doing that to other people. And, and that, makes, that makes good sense to me, okay? So that's the, that's the first thing. And then, and then you'll hear people say, I just can't work on my own family, right? I, 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 as a dentist, can't work on my own family. And they say, how do you do it? And I say, well, I look at everyone as family. And so I treat everyone like family. So when it's time to work on family, I don't do anything different. I do dentistry the exact same way that I do it on everyone. And I think that's a great way to, I think that's a great way to approach the, the, the profession. Absolutely, yeah. If, if the method is correct, then why change the method for any reason? Correct. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, smile engineer, out.